So I'll call the meeting of the contract review subcommittee to order for the Board of Public Utilities. Do we have a roll call, please. Yes, um, Board Member Walsh. Present. Board Member Bannahort. Here. And Chair Galvin. Here. Good afternoon. Uh, just a reminder to turn your microphones off when you're not speaking. And we'll move to public comments on item two. If you wish to make a comment via Zoom, please raise your hand. If you're dialing in via telephone, please dial star nine to raise your hand. And um, we have no one in person wishing to make public comment, um, no hands raised on Zoom, and we receive no voicemail public comments or email public comments. Great. That'll take care of public comments. Then we'll move to item number 3.1. Director Burke. Thank you, Chair Galvin and members of the subcommittee. We're very excited to be bringing forth to you item 3.1, which is a funding agreement between the state of California Department of Water Resources and the city of Santa Rosa for direct install water use efficiency program. And Claire Nordley, our sustainability coordinator over the water department will be making the presentation over the water use efficiency team. Sorry, <laughs> I just promoted Claire. <laughs> Good afternoon, Chair Galvin and members of the board. Hopefully, is that coming through on Zoom okay? Okay, great. So uh, I'm Claire Nordley, I'm the Sustainability Coordinator, and I'm gonna talk about the funding agreement uh, that is before you between the State of California Department of Water Resources and the City of Santa Rosa. So before we get into the agreement, I just wanna touch on what a direct install program actually is. Uh, basically, it's the purchase and the installation of toilets and fixtures at no cost to Santa Rosa water customers. So the fixtures are things like shower head, bathroom faucet aerator, and kitchen faucet aerators. Um, and this funding would actually provide the funding to, for both the purchase of the fixtures and the installation of the fixtures for uh, our Santa Rosa water customers. So this funding agreement is specifically from the Department of Water Resources. Um, they're providing $1.5 million. Santa Rosa water cost is actually $0, although of course we will have our staff time embedded in creating and developing and monitoring the program. Uh, the state will actually dis disperse the whole of the state funding with the very first invoice submittal that we submit to them. And the funding will be available starting in June of this year, June 2023. And we do need to expend all the funding and provide a final completion report no later than June of 2026. So some of the terms of the agreement include uh, Department of Water Resources responsibilities. Obviously they need to provide us the payment and uh, they are allowed to audit awardees if um, we are selected. And then Santa Rosa water responsibilities, obviously we need to submit an invoice in order to get payment from them. We also need to submit annual progress reports and a final completion report. And then of course we actually implement the direct install water use efficiency program. The agreement also comes with specific compliance requirements. We are in compliance with every single one of these, so it wasn't a problem, um, but we did confirm that and look into each one of them. So this specific program, um, what we're proposing is that for the toilets, we remove and recycle uh, 1.6 gallon per flush or more uh, toilets. And we replace those with either a 1.1 gallon per flush toilet or a 0 0.8 gallon per flush toilet. Um, and we recommend the lower flow toilet for residential applications and then the higher flow specifically for commercial, industrial and institutional applications. And then obviously uh, we would require the removal and replacement of fixtures. So that includes shower heads, bathroom aerators, and then kitchen faucet aerators. And all of those older fixtures would be replaced with new high efficiency models. So this is open to all customer classes, which is exciting. So single family, multifamily, commercial, industrial, institutional, everybody is eligible to apply for this. And it is first come first serve. Obviously we have a limited amount of funding um, and we can only replace so many toilets. So uh, it is first come first serve for the funding. And then we are um, predicting that we'll be able to replace approximately 2000 toilets and the associated fixtures with those toilets with this funding. 
And the reason why I can't give a very specific, more specific example or number than that uh, for the 2000 toilets is because the cost for a commercial toilet differs from a residential toilet. We wanna be able to have that flexibility. If we're, um, you know, don't have enough commercial toilets, we can install more residential, increasing our potential number of total installs or decreasing it if we get many more commercial customers interested, for example. So um, with that, it's recommended by Santa Rosa Water that the contract review subcommittee uh, recommend the Board of Public Utilities approval of this funding agreement with the State of California Department of Water Resources in the amount of $1.5 million. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back to you, Chair Galvin. For any questions, Thank you. Please. Open it up for questions or comments by the committee. If there are none, then I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. I move that the contract subcommittee recommend to the full Board of Public Utilities approval of a funding agreement with the State of California Department of Water Resources in the amount of $1,500,000 to um, to fund the items of the sustainability program that are recommended with this agenda item. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right, we'll open it up for public comment on item 3.1. If you wish to make a comment via Zoom, please raise your hand. If you're in the room, you can go to the microphone or you can dial in using star nine. Okay, and there um, is no one in person wishing to make public comment, um, no hands raised on Zoom, and no email or voicemail public comments. All right, well, we have a motion and a second. May we have a roll call vote, please? Uh, Board Member Walsh? Aye. Board Member Badenport? Aye. And Chair Galvin? Aye. All right, and that passes unanimously. Great, thank you again for the presentation. I hope it was a successful uh, venture. I know I've got two that I got a few years ago that are terrible, but I hope, I hope these are better. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, that I think concludes our agenda. So we are adjourned. Thanks.